Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Castle Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Herman von Goring Lover, but we got to talk about the match. It's been quite a few years since Goring swore off morphine. In the meantime, his physique had recovered significantly. In fact, at least at lean, at lean 100 kilograms, Goring was quite athletic for his age, of course. As of late, he'd been eager for any opportunity to show off his physical, physical prowess before an audience to show his people who ruled them. Until recently, though, no worthy opponent had emerged to challenge him in a boxing match. But a young man calling himself Idi Amin had been trained as a boxer uh, for years, and at 16, has already towered over the most men. He's a minor but ambitious warlord, rising in the border region between Goringi and Buganda. And it was time that Goring took action against him. When he challenged Amin to a boxing match, the younger man quickly agreed, and it was set to be broadcast on radio across Goringia. To his surprise and satisfaction, Goring learned that the match would in fact be broadcast all over the former Middle African colonies, serving as a sort of racial matchup and also one of a European colonist versus a native. Regardless, the day for the match came and Goring entered the room in black trunks. This was Goring's first match, and despite all his bravado, he couldn't help but doing or do a double take when the six foot three man in the white trunks walked into the room. The two men entered the ring and touched gloves, neither breaking the tense stare between them. I mean, I had told Goring in broken German that Goring would address him as king of albis on the earth and fish in the sea when he was done with him. To this, Goring said that he already was indeed an animal, that he would never be able to fit to be a king. When the bell sounded, Amin charged Goring like a bull, throwing jabs and crosses to try and knock the smaller man out early, but for his part, Goring dodged and threw uppercuts to stand the defensive, but at the first opportunity, he stepped inside Amin's stance and hit him in the chin with a vicious punch that had the force of a freight train. Amin stumbled back and crashed to the ground, the noise echoing off the walls. Goring stood over his foes, the man was counted out, then knelt down to sever Amin's head from his body. He took the head back to his castle, and when he arrived, he placed the head in a water tank next to his bed, so he might look upon Amin's face in the times of difficulty. Ah, now, who said a rival couldn't be turned into a friend? As we're done with the focus, so we're just kind of kill off the People's Republic of the Congo. It looks like we're doing pretty darn well. Oh, oh, I guess it's over. The French people, they're back. But not really. If I was fit with Patan, I'd be really disappointed. Post-war devastation, nice. But yeah, overall, I think we're doing well here. Uh, we've got quite a few war goals, so we're going to take up pretty much everyone that we can to get our stuff back. So, we'll see. You know, no guarantees for anything, but... We'll do the best we can, of course. Except Dietrich, about level 5? Uh, yeah, he's already at level 5 now. Nice, good job, guys. Uh, we'll see what we can do about that. We need, obviously, more army XP and such, and I want to beeline through all this infiltration stuff, so... Hey, not bad. Ooh. Overall, that's a little bit of a grind, but that's A-OK. -okay. So after this guy, I'll probably take a Buganda. Central African Empire, Gabon, Bornu Emirate, Kenya People State. Yeah, maybe these guys next, actually. We'll see. Shendong Creek. We've lost 300. We've killed off. Oh, we still need to take out Madagascar, but I don't think that's going to happen. About 5,000. That's not bad. These guys aren't perfect. These Gonnison divisions. They're 18 combo with artillery, which is okay. It's not ideal. Use more artillery and whatnot, too. This is an anti tank, which is pretty nice. A few light tanks. Not bad. Plenty of political power for now. I don't even need that. But I'm going to close out of this one, too. It's of course 1940, and I hope you've enjoyed the campaign thus far, my friends. Yeah, I'll grab that too, why not? Do that. Because why not? Look at that manpower. I have to get all these cores. Oh, it's so nice. Battlefield, close air support. Ah, uh, do that one, because you can get more daily uh, air XP and whatnot. QSO? Something like that? Very good for MXP, actually. I just don't think we'll be able to take out. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, it comes the Entente. Um, can you return home? Huh? Yeah, good for them, I guess. Um, just take out these guys, That's, which sucks, but whatever. That's set. Already, what, 10%? 12%? Not bad. Steiner, huh? Of course, he's a growing loyalist. Oh. Well, we got this. He just came back. Oh! Wales is in the right pack. Okay, well. Oh, hello. Oh, Deutsche Djibouti, huh? Well then. Yeah, there goes Wales. What do we have here? Stand strong under the Iron Cross. Okay. Ah, he ended up there. Perfect. Okay. Oh, whatever. My goodness, how much more do we need to do to take these guys out? I'd like to force the attack, but we can't quite do that, so...
Don't let them move. Let them all die there. It's what they literally wanted. Go ahead, so. And there we go. Go, go, go. You're going to lose all your organization, but whatever. Not like you needed it, right? Keep building yourselves up, too. That'd be great. Yeah, there we go. We got a little bunch of fuel. Or at least a little bit of fuel. Um, actually, can we take these guys out next? Yes, we can. Bad supply, huh? Oh, good God, yeah, that's pretty bad. One of the take July 6. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, well, just continue trying to take out more people and more people.
and that's where I think we'll stop this because we got a war with the uh, Djibouti version of uh, the German Empire place, but you know, and the German Empire was called in, but I don't think we could really take them on as much as I wanted to. The drug specs looking pretty decent, not great. They own all of France and the UK, but then again, the Eurasian Union or the Eurasian Bloc is looking pretty freaking thick, so they even have Italy with them too, but you know, I think I'm going to end it there. It's been a really fun campaign. Goring is a lot of fun, and, rec and thank you to whoever recommended that this campaign, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, military occupation is my answer. But if you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.